Hey guys, I wanted to make a quick video showing you some awesome apps that are quite possibly coming with the new upcoming Google Pixel 4, and I'll even be showing you how you can install most of them on your device. Let's check them out. Let's start it off with the live wallpapers found on the Pixel 4. They are all extremely beautiful. They have abstract ones, some that look like paintings, and a few aerial wallpapers with moving clouds, birds, or live shadow effects that follow the sun's movements across a mountain. Some of them are even customizable. For example, the Doodle selections have four different themes, and there's also a do-it-yourself toggle, which allows you to create your own live effects within the live wallpaper. Tapping on the background will form a circle, swiping in any direction will create a different object, and long pressing will bring up another. There's also a live wall called Sights from the Sun. For all my space lovers out there, you can see all the planets in the solar system orbit around the sun in real time, or speed up the movements for a smooth rotation. And if you want to switch to a different planet, you can keep tapping on the switch button until you find your favorite. For those of you who don't have a Google Pixel running Android 10, you can obtain these live wallpapers by downloading a ported APK by an XDA developer called Pranav Pandey. I'll drop a link down below to his forum page so you can download and install the appropriate APK. He has instructions there so you can get it running. He even has an app called Slice Viewer just in case you can't customize the walls. If you're running Android 10 on any Pixel device, you have the option of downloading an updated version of the Google Wallpapers app, which has been redesigned. And you also need to download another APK called Pixel Wallpapers 19, so you can find the new Pixel 4 Live wallpapers within the Google Wallpapers app. Both of those apps can be found on apkmirror.com, so I'll drop both of those links right below that like button. A new advantage to having a Pixel device running Android 10 is that you can download another app called Pixel Themes 10, which essentially lets you unlock customizable options within the Google Wallpapers app. It allows you to change the font, system icons, accent color, and home screen icon shapes. And you can even save your changes as presets so you can quickly switch to a different theme later on. I know there are devices out there that already have these customizable options. I'm just glad it's all in one place now and it's easier to find than having to dig through your settings. At the time of this recording, I was only able to get these options working on the Pixel 3 XL running Android 10. It didn't work on my OnePlus 7 Pro running Android 10, but I'm sure it'll work on other Pixel devices. Plus, you need to run an ADB command before these themes show up on the device. I'll drop that command in the description. Now, before I show off even more changes within this update, I did want to give a shout out to our sponsor called Hostinger. For those looking to host a website, it's easier than ever with Hostinger. It's extremely affordable, and when you get started on their platform, setting up a personal website can't be done in minutes. This is thanks to some of their customizable templates or third-party integrations. And even if you're more accustomed to using WordPress or some other popular website builder, you have the option of using those platforms as well within Hostinger's website. If you'd like to include stunning features within your website, such as voting polls, a forums page, selling products, or other bells and whistles, Hostinger makes it easy by supporting dozens of different applications that can be installed quickly. They also have a clean looking interface. They're the fastest web hosting provider on the market. They provide a ton of different features that you would want from a website hosting provider. And as I said before, they have really affordable plans with all of them being below five bucks a month. Go to www.hostinger.com slash howtomen and use code howtomen to get up to a 91% discount on any of their web hosting plans. There's also a new update to the Google camera app version 7.1. The viewfinder has been tweaked a bit there's now an arrow at the top, which brings up the regular options for when you take a photo, such as motion, timer, flash, and ratio. You can also swipe down from anywhere to pull up that menu. Within the settings, there's a new option called social share, which lets you quickly share photos to some of your favorite social apps. After you take a picture, an arrow will pop up on the preview circle to properly share that image on any of your socials. There's also a few more features within this app. I'll drop a link to an Android Police article where they go over every new element within this update. I'll also drop a link to download it, but of course it only works on Pixel devices. Google also dropped a new native voice recording app. It has a pretty straightforward design. Once you tap on the record button, you can see the live audio waves every time you speak, and it has a live transcription, so any words spoken out loud will be written down. It also gives you the option to rename the recordings, search for specific words, save them to Google Drive, set the location, and it has a beautiful dark theme. This app should work on any device. Last but not least, this is not an official Google app or feature, but I did want to show off an app called Automatic Dark Theme for Android 10. It allows you to set a schedule of when light and dark themes should be enabled. So you can have the light theme be enabled throughout the day, and when night comes, the app will automatically switch the system's theme to dark. 
It's a neat little app since you can't do this within Android 10, and of course it only works on devices running Android 10. It'll just make you type out an ADB command when you first launch it to get it working. Anyways, that's it for this quick video. Let me know in the comments what you think of these apps and if you're excited about the release of the Google Pixel 4. Don't forget to go to www.hostinger.com slash howtomen and use my promo code howtomen to get up to a 91% discount on any other plans. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!